healthy scalp is healthy hair. Whether that's science, who knows? Oh my God, I'm making so much mess. It's hair day, that's what happens. Hi, my name is Pamela and today I'm sharing my curly hair routine. So in the last couple of years, I've really embraced my curly hair. I spent a lot of my life straightening it, whether it be with blow dryers, straighteners, chemicals, I've done it all. But I find that living in a place like the UK, when it suddenly rains without warning, uh, you're in trouble. You spend the rest of the day worrying about what you look like, how frizzy it is, and what it's gonna look like when you get to the place that you're going to. Whereas actually, if you just embrace your curls and they get a bit wet, then they tend to just kind of bounce back to some sort of semblance of order. So we're lucky, you gotta embrace it. So uh, as you can see, I have already washed my hair. I do two loads of shampoo. The first wash, I scrub my scalp and I get really stuck in everywhere because healthy scalp is healthy hair. The second wash, I keep the shampoo in for a couple of minutes. I don't actually know why I do that, but I feel like it just cleans it better. A really important part for me is to towel dry my hair before I put the conditioner in, because when you towel dry it and you get all of that excess moisture out, it means that there's more room inside the hair for the conditioner to be absorbed. Whether that's science, who knows? but it works for me, it makes my hair super duper soft. I leave the conditioner in, I have the conditioner in right now. So today it's been in for about 30 minutes. Okay, let's face it, we all have a little extra time on our hands. Okay, so rinse my hair, I painted my fence today, so I have paint on me. Oops. Now, as you can see, I have really fine hair, so it's really important for me to get as much volume as possible. I use lots of different products, and I am using this one today, Cantu curl custard. It's quite thin, this, so I just coat my fingers with it and I flip my head upside down. Now, as I said, my hair is very um, fine, so it dries super quickly, so it is a little bit of a race against the clock. So that is three finger loads of cream. I'm gonna flip again, shake it out so that it doesn't all cling together. So I was like to separate the curls. My hair is finest at the front, so I'm going to do the front first, otherwise it will dry in like no time at all. I just section it off and at the back, pin it in. All I do is use my fingers to comb it out and then wrap it round my fingers. Now this is pretty time consuming, so if you don't have a lot of time may not be the one for you, but the results are great. Okay, so that is the front section done. The important things I always think about is not to make the sections the same size. So just kind of, just roughly do it. It's not, it doesn't have to be a work of art. Once you have unwrapped it, I tend to just like frequently, your hands get a little sticky, so it doesn't hurt to get some of the dry product off. Do it and just be careful. That's me uh, done the front and back sections. So um, if your hair is fine, like mine, and it dries before you get a chance to do it, that's okay, all you have to do is just dampen your hands and run it through again. Twist and pull, and then I kind of work my way up to the scalp and then kind of just let it unravel. So now that I've done that, I start to do a lot of hair flicking. So I never use heat. Not only is it not particularly good for your hair, but kind of just goes all over the place. So I start to scrunch. I try and shake up my roots as well to get them a little volume. I'm gonna leave this to dry naturally now. About every 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna whip my hair back and forward and scrunch again. I just keep rustling up my scalp. Also, it feels quite nice. A little scratch. As you can see, the curls are starting to dry. If the product gets a little crispy, which, you know, if you use a lot of it, then it very well might. The more you scrunch it, the crispiness is gonna go away. Don't panic, it's not like you're living in the 80s. Now, until it's dry, I'm just gonna keep on scratching, scrunching, and flipping. Okay, it's pretty much dry, I'm just going to do a tiny bit more product, so just a little, and just gently, without pulling any of the curls out, I'm just going to kind of run 
my hands really gently over the top. There, we have it. All in all, my top tips are leave your conditioner in for as long as you can. Don't use your uh, towel to scrunch your hair. Don't use any heat and just be patient. And that is my curly hair routine. Hi, my name is Deirdre and I'm going to show you my curly hair routine. So my curl pattern is a 3C, has little soft coils. My hair also has very low porosity, so it's like dry all the time. Couple that with dry Cape Town winter, it is not the best. And so I always have to make sure that I take care of moisturizing and keeping it hydrated as much as possible. Before I shampoo my hair, I often try to create a little nifty mask that I enjoy using on my hair. I have very, very dry hair, so my go-to is a two egg yolk meets my favorite oils recipe. I use one tablespoon of oil for every egg yolk. And my go-to journey is one tablespoon of argan oil and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now I wash my hair with Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo with Argan Oil. Because my hair has been dyed and lifted, I need a shampoo that's going to help me maintain my hair color as well as retain moisture. So when rinsing off the egg mask, I ensure that the water is not too warm so that the egg doesn't fry in my hair. So my go-to is the beloved palm olive, which is super cheap in the South African market. And then I like to pump them up with two things, black castor oil and the ORS argan oil. I love ORS, it's my favorite brand. Also it's cheap and it's quality oil for the amount of money that you pay. So I pretty much dollop this into my hand. I do a little mix it in my hand and then I apply. I generally apply like a lot of product because my hair is super dry and it doesn't really always take well to moisture and so more conditioner and more oil generally just works for my hair. A little trick that I love is just to comb the conditioner through my hair with my fingers. I also do this little scrunchy thing that just kind of scrunches the product into your hair and then I love doing this with my fingers because it also stimulates my scalp which stimulates hair growth. After I've applied my product, I arm myself with my favorite thing, my detangler and I just go through my hair and I comb it out. Okay, so once I have now combed through my hair with my detangler, I take my hair and I scrunch it like this. I scrunch, 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 and I scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. I try to not touch my hair after I've done this. So generally, after I've done my hair and my wash day, I try to like wash my hair like every third day or so and try and not wet my hair as often and I find this little guy so super useful so what I do is I take a spritzer bottle and I fill it with my conditioner my oil 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 <laughs> and I just like you know spritz it a little just to refresh the curls so it's not overly wet and that it's just rejuvenated really and that is my curly hair routine look at these curls look at these girls Hiya, my name is Sabine and I'm here with you to share my curly hair routine. It does take a bit of time, but you know, if you're looking for voluminous, luscious curls that do not disappoint every time, this may be for you. This is my hair three, four days after doing this hairstyle. The curls are still popping. What I like to do to start with is I get a cup of lukewarm water. Then I use this bad boy right here, leave-in conditioner repair cream. This helps to just bring back the moisture to my hair and it helps it to pass through a lot easier with the comb. I like to use something that has like a bit of a wide tooth so that I'm not just literally dragging out the strands of my hair. <laughs> I like to section it off too into small little quadrants on my head. That way I am able to ensure that all of my hair is treated as gently as possible and it makes it so much easier. That is all done. The product is worked into my hair. So what I do is I take out one section of hair. I comb it through with my comb. I stretch it out before even putting the water on there just to have the water glide on a bit easier and as I'm putting the water on there I sort of smooth it out. Bit of leave-in conditioner in there and I, I like to actually comb it from the bottom going up slowly. It just helps to ensure that I'm as gentle as possible with my hair. We are all done! <laughs> I like to use the Cantu um, Moisturising Cream Shampoo as that 
essentially as more moisture. It's a reoccurring theme. And I also like to use the conditioner version to the shampoo. I feel they work hand in hand. I like to keep it in the twists when I'm washing out the conditioner. I just need to sort of get rid of the product out of there. After I finish, I like to also add the deep treatment mask. Whilst the hair is, of course, still wet, I'll just put it in onto the roots of my hair. My shower cap, it met its last days not that long ago. So I am being a little bit ghetto and um, just using a plastic bag. I'm going to put this on top of my head to ensure that I am able to essentially create a little bit of heat to really work the product in there and to just maximize um, moisture. Hopefully you can see my hair looks quite moisturized. It's very soft right now. So I'm just gonna rinse this out. I will at first detangle whilst it's quite dry. Make sure the comb still can glide over it really easily. So after I've washed my hair twice, I like to then put in the conditioner and work that through my hair so get a bit of conditioner just run it down the hair shaft starting from the root going down and I just sort of twist it into a little plait here that's that sorted out and then I go on to the next one so my hair is now pretty much dry I am now going to use coconut oil it's great for say if you have quite thick or coarse hair it softens it and makes it so silky and smooth I'm gonna mix it with the leave-in conditioner again that I introduced earlier the combination of the two really help to penetrate the hair and make sure it's as moisturized as possible I'll section off a bit of hair and then I'll get a bit of the kooza just to put in the parts of my scalp is showing then what I really, really like to do, and I've started adding more into my routine, is castor oil. Benefits of using castor oil is the fact that it gives your hair a boost to vitamins and also adds moisture, which, in case you haven't realised, is a huge thing. <laughs> I will add conditioner. Then the final thing that I will add, Eco Styler Gel. I work a little bit of that into the hair. Then going to do is set my hair into bantu knot essentially twist it round like so and then I wrap it around on itself so you see how it gets quite tight at the root and then that's it it just holds and stays if yours don't necessarily hold that's okay you can use like a plastic rubber band sort of thing for me personally what holds better is if I do smaller parts but you know what feel free to get crazy and wild with it I'd love to see like what you guys do so here are the bantu knots all completed all that's left to do now is wait until tomorrow morning then it'll be ready to live in its full glory of beautiful popping curls <laughs> good morning good morning i hope you're well i'm here to finally show you the the last bit of this video what i do from this stage is i just grab a little bit of castor oil put that on my fingers make sure it's all lubricated on both hands and then i take out the little bumps so as you can see it's quite bouncy then i sort of go through the rest of the hair i like to work from back to the top no particular method to it at all it's just more like what's easier now it's all taken out what i do from this point is still with more castor oil go through the hair and just just separate it just to make it a little bit more full and voila <laughs> here is the final look you can see that the curls are still very defined even after separating them there is a little frizz personally i don't mind just because that adds to the volume of the hair but if you want to reduce this maybe use a little bit more oil than i did cast oil olive oil anything will do kind of thing <laughs> so what's so 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 important i stress very important is to protect your hair at night to do that i'd recommend using a satin bonnet or just any sort of like soft material scarf that will um essentially protect the hair at night and ensure Sure that you can rock this hairstyle for days to come hunty <laughs> there we go we have voluminous cows and that is my curly hair routine bye for now <laughs>